Hello everybody, I'm Ragni, with me is a psychedelic eyeball. The Genesis is the best sound chip ever made. And also some kind of raving loon. Maybe. And we're playing Another World, or as it is known in the US, Out of This World. And as it is known pretty much for everyone nowadays, Another World. We're out of this world with a very thick V. <laughs> so I know I know some asshole is gonna say, why are you playing the Genesis version? Because it's the one I played as a child, end of story. Yeah, I mean you could have shown the Essenius version. So I hope <coughs> you're gonna make it as many videos as you did for Earthworm Jim showing every version. Egg, listen, the only differences between versions is the sound, so I decided to take the crappy I mean the one I had uh, when I was a child. Absolutely. Love this opening cutscene. Yeah. I have this huge cool parking all for myself. Really nice yeah. animation for the time, and this game as a whole manages to say a lot without words. Yep. Very stylish. I think the manual says something about who we are, Lister Knight, a scientist, or some kind of what we're doing here, and I forgot. Yeah, it said so a little bit into the intro that we oh, saw. Oh, our, our wrist vanished for a moment there. <laughs> That's the, the wonders of the Genesis. That's a uh, 16-bit processing for you. Just to identify yourself by face print. And the computer... The computer is acting like kind of like an ex-bone, because... Topical humor! It knows everything about you! <laughs> Congratulations, this video will be dated in four years. So, um, uh, he's using the beta for Windows 9. As you can see, it's all hologram. In the future, nobody can buy a monitor. I just figured I'd head out and light, uh, do some particle accelerating, you know, science stuff. This is a Friday night for Lester tonight. he doesn't have many friends. Slam my generic grey beverage and, uh, yeah, smash some atoms. Yeah, for the longest time, I always thought for some reason that this was like completely indoors and yet the thunder <laughs> managed to go all the way through the ceiling or something. But see, this is why you don't build your own LHC. You you kind of need um, a lot of engineers and scientists. That's why you don't make your particle accelerator end right in front of your desk. Yeah, also. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's probably not a good idea. So I don't know what's with the squares, but that's an emulator glitch. It's going to vanish soon. Blast processing. Yes, blast process. Fairly, fairly sure it was not here on the actual console, so that was a death. We and died. Very nice. Way. Yeah, and you can also die if you don't swim fast enough for the top of the pool because there's all of these tentacles which suck you down. So yeah, this is one of those games where you die a lot. Like for example, those leeches. Lester is kind of doesn't really handle that. Yeah, most people just say that uh, these slugs have, like, poison or something that just pretty much paralyzes him. That would be the logical conclusion. Yes. So do you want to hear about differences between versions? For some reason, the leeches on the ceiling and the SNES version don't fall. Hmm. I don't, I don't, know. don't I remember know. seeing them fall in the SNES version. Well, maybe, I don't know. The one I played, they wouldn't fall until I waited for, like, a fucking minute. They just wanted to take their time to ambush you. And Space Lion. More like Space Panther. Yeah. Oh wait, the Panther actually is a whole lot slower in that one version. Is it? Yeah, because know. in like the screen just before the pool, it almost reaches you, but then it just rolls um, on itself. There's, there's also the thing that in this game, if you bunny hop while you run, you run actually faster. <laughs> it's a it's a good p tip for uh, pro speed runs. 
Hello, I'm pleased to meet you person I don't know about. Well, that was a jerk. <gasps> He's been in prison so long his face grew features. <laughs> He's becoming one of them. Also, I'm really not used to hearing music into the game, considering that pretty much all of the games that I've played of this game was pretty much always for the PC version, as well than the latest re-release, which was made and which was pretty much a, a recreation of the Amiga version. Yeah, some versions don't have music. Well, you're just gonna have to get used to it. Also, holy shit, is the genesis of the best laser sounds. I love that sound. Shut up! I love that sound. That's the best sound ever. It's like, this is a sound that is not in any of the versions at all. It's the best sound! So this is a not a very complicated game. You got a gun, you press to shoot. Again, your gun can also do uh, shields if you maintain the shoot button for a second. Makes a little shield in front of you that lasts for a... Like, 10 seconds, it goes away a little faster if someone shoots at it, but not really. And it's the same for the enemies. So you can pretty much just wait for the shield to disappear and then shoot them. Yeah, but you must also not shoot too much, because otherwise, well, you cannot really see it at any given point, but your gun eventually runs out of power if you shoot too much. Not that the I'm game gonna... will tell you any of this at all. I won't tell you. I'm not entirely sure about the whole power thing, though. Because I know it happens at the beginning of the game. I've never seen it happen uh, past that beginning part. Yeah, because I once managed to run out of juice during the part where you're supposed to wait for the doors to open. Yeah, that's. I think that's the only part where you can actually run out of juice. Because that's the only... That's... I don't know. That's really the only part he... Implemented that. So we're gonna approach this uh, corridor very, very slowly. Very casually. The, the screen transition can kind of kill us. If you go in there and you don't know there's a guy, he will shoot you immediately. Yeah, and you die pretty much instantly. But at least I think the game restarts you in that one section if it happens. For the most part, even though you will keep dying all of the time, it's pretty forgiving about the deaths. So after killing that guy downstairs, we also cut the power to those doors. So that guy is stuck and he has to destroy them. Giving us the time to go through. And as you can see, our gun uh, is out of juice because... Yeah, but I think it always runs out of juice the moment you get there, though. Yeah, it runs out of juice because you, I used uh, that big, big ball to destroy that door. And then steam. And then he died, end of the video. Deadly, <laughs> deadly steam. Yeah, the deadly steam that turns you entirely green. I also gotta love that nice delicious crunch noise every time yeah. he lands here. <laughs> I love that noise. I'm telling you, Genesis had the best noise. Also, this is me thinking, shit, which way is the right way? Left or right, left or right? I can never remember. Yeah, also I think in the Amiga version, the rightmost team thing is also a whole lot more delayed. Mm, possibly. So this thing uh, reloads our gun, and as I said, I'm fairly sure it will never run out, even though there's actually another recharge station later. Yeah, I don't know. But, truth be told, I never took any kind of chances. Uh, I don't know, I used the big ball a whole bunch. I do, I'm not conservative with my gun. So, I don't know if this is like an amount that is so high it will never run out of unless you... No, her body's being Love changed. this action in the foreground. Very yeah. nicely yeah. done. Also, that was the most casual chase sequence ever. Everybody's yeah, just like walking. This is, just really, walking. this is a really relaxed place. We wound up on the planet of the sloths. <laughs> Oh god, I just can't get enough of the Genesis sound chip. 
Best sound. Okay, so there's a waterfall here. Um, we can't really go through because if we try, we will get uh, hit by the current and we'll drown. What am I doing? No, no, go back. Left. <laughs> uh, must I show the dead animation? Mm, I really wonder. Maybe no. I think I should. Maybe go that's back. what I was thinking. <laughs> no, I must go back to the waterfall. Okay. So yeah, you can't go there. You have to go through the caves. Yeah. Also, I wondered why you didn't fall through the pit, because that's always where how I go all the way down here. Because for some reason, at this moment of the game, your guy gets the ability to fall 30 feet in the air without being damaged. Well, fall damage only depends situationally in this game. Yeah, it only happens when it n needs to happen. Because otherwise, you will fall 30 feet in the air and you'll be like, ah, I'm okay. Well, I had to show the waterfall, dude. Yeah. And I hate those rocks, you just have to wait for them to get in the right synchronization so you can pass. Yeah, this Yeah, is... and in the... This is one yeah. of those kind of weird early 90s half-adventure games that will keep changing the rules and never tell you what has changed. So I, I have this game, or the 20th anniversary version of that game, on Android, and I can tell you playing this part with a touchscreen is painful. Oh, okay, you can destroy these things. Yeah, I usually destroy them because I don't want to take the risk. I I always just shut them. I know, it just makes me feel better, more safe. Mm -hmm. So just bunny hop and we're gone. Yeah. Also, I wonder why you didn't showcase the death animation for the tentacle because it's kind of gruesome. Uh, yeah, it used to scare me as a child and I don't want to relieve the nightmare. Yeah. So we just came here to destroy that wall, now we're gone. Yeah, that thing, however, is really counterintuitive, and the reason why we did that is, well, you'll see later, because you kind of have to do something else in order it's... to notice that eventually you do need to blow up that door. Trial. It's, one, it's one of those things, it's one of those games where you have to to die to a bunch of things before you can realize what you have to do. Yeah. But I like, think if you do that other thing, wasn't it possible to permanently screw yourself over? No, you could always come... I don't actually remember. Like, really, just go ahead and look at your video timer right now. This is not a very long game. It's just obtuse and takes yeah, it's a very trial long and error. You don't know what to do. Yeah, the reason why we shut the path is in order to make it so that those tentacles retract, because otherwise we can come back here. Yeah, I have to make a platform to go back up. Am I the only one who was disappointed that you couldn't crush yourself with this uh, huge stone slab? Right there yes. with you. Probably. I don't know. Anything that doesn't kill me in this game is, is good with me. Yeah, that one section always scared me whenever I was a kid. It is tense. But now that we got rid of the water, uh, there won't be any water in the waterfall. So I want you to pay extreme attention to what is happening here, alright? I'm going through the waterfall, and I end up here, alright? Now I come back, and I am at the top of the waterfall. <laughs> yeah, I guess that they just wanted you to go all the way up here in order to trigger... But now I'm gonna go back down, go through the waterfall again, and I end up here. We're in another world. <laughs> I don't I don't understand <laughs> like this this has gotta be a glitch or an oversight or something he forgot. Yeah, I think they did that just in order to force you of triggering I, this one cutscene where the, your this, alien this buddies is a really bad way this is a really bad way of doing it because yeah. it just confuses the hell out of you. Uh, we better and... have mercy on our player for a change. But maybe they thought that it had to be part of the game, it had to stay part of the game, because that is also still in the Android version, the 20th anniversary version. Oh. Mysteries. I don't know, because I always went on top anyway, because I, I knew that I had to trigger that one cutscene. You just got bopped on the nose. I don't actually technically need to, but... Yeah, that guy who punches you when you go on the right always surprised me. <laughs> I Every just single love him. Time. I just kid. love him because he's such a bad shot. Every single time when I get, as a kid, when he would just walk uh, on the right, punch! Just 
give me a fucking heart attack. Yeah. Also, this encounter is really brutal whenever you're not really familiar with the way the combat works. You just have to prepare yourself with shields on both sides, and... Combat isn't really very deep. You just kinda... Have to be prepared for it. And here's why we had to open the... Destroy the wall down there, because that's the... That's the big shaft where the water went. Now we can swim here. Yeah, and also we cannot cross this pit at all. Yeah, also I think the other versions of the game are a little bit better for that one section, mainly because there's absolutely no music on that part, and instead of, of that you just hear your hair bubbles going out of you, so... I don't know, I kinda like the music, but and again, probably just because of nostalgia, that's the version I played. Yeah, probably. And yeah, also this is why we have to drain the water, because otherwise we will not be able to reach that one part. And we have to destroy that cable, it's vital for after. Although the game is not going to tell you that. Yeah, the game is not really keen on telling you what you need to do ahead of time. Just layers upon layers yeah. of miscellaneous. Yeah, and finally, don't go to the left, because if you go there, you just find a dead end, and for some reason, there's some kind of heavy current that pushes you to the left, so... If you go there, then, and you're not really you aware just, of it, then it's... You just drown instantly? Uh, you don't drown instantly, but if you didn't take a breath before going to that one section, you're probably gonna drown before you notice what's happening to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The hell? <laughs> I'm not stuck! I was probably changing my YouTube video at this point. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I am... There's a thing you have to do upstairs, but I'm not actually going to do them because I'm a pro speedrunner. <laughs> I'm going to go straight right. You're not supposed to do that, but that is how I thought you had to do it when I was a kid. I'm not kidding. I thought you had to do that. And it's a really hard. <laughs> it's a, re <laughs> it's a really face. difficult. It's a really difficult thing to do. So I left a couple deaths to show you how it can end. Yeah, because you normally your you're not supposed to be able to do this. Just get your see, face caved in. Um, see the green thing uh, that is hanging from the ceiling. If you go upstairs, you can shoot it, and it will fall on that guy's head. That is how you're supposed to deal with him. But I did not know that. So instead, I just persevered through that seemingly obstacle, impossible obstacle. Yeah, uh, instead I just kind of brute forced it. <laughs> uh, I do like how there's kind of a progression in how the guards are trying to fight you. But like, in the very early encounters, it's good enough to just be quicker on the trigger and shoot them, then they start using shields, so you have to start using shields and charge shots. And then this yeah, guy that, figures out how to throw grenades at you. That shield that shield he has is an infinite shield. It will never be destroyed. But if you place a shield in front of him, he will run up to it. And that's how you kill him without the normal uh, way. Yeah, the reason also why we cut power earlier is if we didn't do so, then we will have died instantly upon getting in this room. It basically, I think, closes the door a little longer for these guys. No, it just keeps the door closed or something. I don't remember. And these guys, this part, there's really no point in fighting them, because they're just going to respawn infinitely. So you just kind of have to chill out and wait. Pew, 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 <laughs> Thrilling. I just love these sound effects so much. And eventually, your friend is coming right. to save you. Get his arm! Also, for some reason, they managed to shoot themselves. And our friend immediately gets arrested. Good job. Yeah. While we sneak in the back. That's not really clear, but... Uh, okay, so why did you do that? <laughs> Why'd I do what? I mean, why didn't you just sneak up on the guard in order to shoot him through his shield? Oh, you can do that? I just yeah. always did it like that. I wasn't sure, I was that if you uh, approach him too much, uh, you get spotted. 
I thought I was, but I guess not. Yeah, or Helian Buddy tries to do the jump, but unfortunately, he's too heavy for that float. <laughs> and here's more fighting. Not every guard has many bombs, fortunately. Yeah, there's only like one or two of them that you have to do so. For instance, in the one upstairs section that we didn't get to see, essentially you just have to deal with one guy and what you need to do is make it so that you just pretty much uh, trigger him getting all of the grenades and, well, I don't really remember how it is per se. Oh, yeah. That's... Just make him launch a grenade and it bounces on the door and it yeah. comes back to him. That guy, afraid of us because he doesn't have a gun, so we're gonna warn him. And you might have noticed that the door upstairs also closed down. That's important. Yeah, because otherwise the guard here will shoot us immediately the second that we get there. And I'm gonna jump on the other side here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> and Lester tumbles down the stairs and breaks his knee. This guy isn't too smart. Because when we blow up the door, the way he attacks us is by launching mines, but... Yeah, There's but he does so stairs. only if you do a shield first. Yeah, but still. And so it's important, you have to let him uh, unleash a couple of bombs, because it will make a hole in the floor. Yeah. That's. I think that's the one thing that I never figured out by myself, and I had to have a friend tell me. Now we have you fight someone who knows how to charge. Yeah, too bad that's the only thing that he... Uh, Okay, what the hell was this color filter? That was crazy. I, I don't know. Ah! Genesis is <laughs> this weird thing sometimes. Yeah, the thing that we And did... that's a bitch. There's a hole right in after the screen transition. Yeah, and right now you've already screwed yourself over. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead. And the thing I hate is that even when you know that hole is there, because of the screen transition, it's not always uh, easy to jump over it. Kind of the yeah. worst place to put it. Yeah, you can see they're definitely ready for you. They have to jump in, and there's a lever. What does that do? It releases all the space lions. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can, nobody can bother you anymore. Well, they're too busy dealing with the lions. Okay, not anymore because you're now the only target. But they have the worst well, team ever. Kind of assume, thanks, I kind of assume, but none of them touch you because they're just like stray shots. And our friend has just been holding out there this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> and if you were like me, playing for the first time, this whole time is like several hours. He has very good grip. Yes. These aliens just have arms of steel. For some reason, I always thought that your character here has the freakiest face ever because one of his eyes is completely different than the other. He's part husky. <laughs> uh, if you want, freak, if you want freaky faces, you should shake out the the sequel they made for this oh, game. Oh God! Have you seen that? Uh, yeah, I've seen it a little bit, and from what I've heard, it's not really anything worth talking about. So yeah, I kind of like that sequence, because you're just kind of like, Ah, what buttons do I push? Push all the buttons! Right. And, oh, yeah, push, push a white push. button that is blinking! I'm just, I'm just showing, showing the thing off. I know what I have to do. <laughs> If you wait for too long, they'll just bring out the, the charging guns and kill well, them. Well, hello. Hey, come back here. I'm coming, peace. Why are there so many armed guards at this bath? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is the price of our security, okay? This... Yeah, there's so much lasers. And yeah, unless I'm wrong, I think this is the last major firefight we get in into the game. This is pretty much the last firefight, and it's nothing special, you just do the same thing as always, they just throw out a bunch of dudes at you. Yeah. And that's it. Also, I like how come there's so many guards in the oh, foreground, yeah! and yet they can never hit you. 
Yeah, I mean, it's not like the lion thing where they're all trying to fight everything. You're, you're the only one here. I think he just no broke her arm. I think he broke more than that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, your body is completely broken, you can barely move. Uh, this is the end of the game. Oh boy. And your friend is uh, the only one trying to help you. Also, I gotta like how come the, the sound effects here just are better suited for a fight than the original version. Yeah, I hate the sound effects in the original because you just like tap, 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 tap. It sounds dumb. So there are some levers here. Uh, the first one just like does a big laser, and the second one opens a window. So you have to use the laser to kill that guy when he comes around, and then you just have to. Yeah, walk you back. have to hurry up because otherwise you get shot by. Uh, by Crawl laser. back to the opening, and that's the end of the game. Oh, thank God! A friendly gargoyle. We're saved. <laughs> Now I go to an hospital and I manage to repair all of my broken body. Yet. I should have had a 7 up! <laughs> <laughs> also, I like how, co how come the wings of the gargoyle are actually transparent. I really like that ending. Just. I don't know. We just ride off into the blue. Well, when I was a kid, it was really hard to get there, and it was just... Really... I don't know how to describe that. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, I think the other guy who did, who did the music did not do any music for the Amiga version, and... Unless I'm wrong, he did music later for Earthworm Jim? Possibly. Uh, yeah, that ending just left me really hoping for a sequel, and then they did make a sequel on the Sega CD, and it sucked. I didn't play it, but I saw a long play, and it's really awful, and I'm kind of tempted to actually play it for the hard game thread, just to show off the awful cutscenes. Yeah, I but don't remember... I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember much about this game, except that it was terrible. Uh, it doesn't look fun to play. Like, this, this game has some bullshit deaths, but it's still kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Now, go out of this world. Go out of this world and get yourself a 7-up. <laughs> <laughs>